Leave a like and subscribe with notifications on or you're going to have bad luck for the next five years. Alright guys and girls, so for this video we're going to be showing you how to do retakes, how to perfect retakes, and get better at retakes. But before that starts, I would like to ask you to watch my most recent video other than this one and to follow my Twitch and TikTok, Flares underscore Hypno. That being said, let's get right into the video. Alright, first is settings, because believe it or not, binds and settings are very important. So let's get started. Controller auto on off would build immediately on. I would do a 0.100 second hold time. A vibration, leave that off, it would distract you. Build mode sensitivity with the edit mode sensitivity multipliers, 1.9 personally, but if it's too fast, go to 1.5 at the lowest and 2.3 at the highest, and this goes for both of them. Make sure you're using advanced settings. Anybody that's not, put them on. Look horizontal speed, personal, 43 with a vertical of 41. The lowest you should go is 39 and the highest is 60. My personal is 43 with 41. Boosts, personally, off, but you should keep them off because they get hard to use. Turning boost ramp time, all the way down. Horizontal and vertical ADS, 10 on 10, uh, with the boosts off, of course and dampening time all the way down and I play an exponential I just switched from exponential from linear and it's best decision I've made the dead zones are 10 on 10 for me at least binds binds help you to make retakes a lot easier and pretty much everything else in general without the good binds I don't think you would be able to do a lot of things in Fortnite these binds are for non claw players so if you don't play claw but play paddles or just you know regularly then these are binds for you. So take a moment, pause the video if you need to, copy these binds, stick with them, and try them out. If you still have edit on B or triangle if it's for PS4, then you need to switch my fam. As you can see, I got triple binds for edit, and it's on left stick for primary editing. I got crouch on X for build modes and edit just so you don't crouch by accident. That's why I left the right stick unbound. But for combat controls, keep crouch on right stick. With edit controls, I try to keep everything simple with LT as confirm and RT as select with reset on right stick. Uh, everything like jump, pickaxe, and crouch are the same. Obviously, you're already in edit mode, so the edit options are unbounded. But now that you got your settings and binds done, it's time to hop in the game and learn some retakes. Alright, so today we're going to learn upwards tunnel. And then a couple things that you could do with an upwards tunnel. And you see this retake in Faceway and a couple other people. But this retake is very important just because you can't get shot. It's very easy to do and reliable. Especially since you could do so many things with this retake. Alright, to do the upwards tunnel, you start by a stair and then add walls. And to do the walls, you kind of have to do like a kind of a C swipe with your fingers on your joystick. Watch my fingers. It goes into an upwards C swipe. I'll slow it down. That's what you kind of have to do to add those uh, walls. So just keep practicing it until you add those walls and then eventually add the stair. Once you get that down, everything else will be a lot easier. So just practice placing those walls down and then make sure you practice both sides. So that would be the only way to get better at it is practicing both sides. And to do it the other side is kind of the opposite of the C swipe. So you're just making a backwards C. When you're practicing it and working on speed, it's alright if that wall doesn't place sometimes. Just keep practicing on it and you'll get it. I was just kind of messing up because I was recording in OBS and watching this through OBS to make sure that my camera was on my controller. If you keep practicing, you eventually get as fast as this. Alright, when you practice the upwards tunnel and perfected it, let's now work on other things you can add onto it to throw off your opponent. So when you edit that wall, try to jump to the side, but instantly make sure you place that wall to your right and then do another upwards tunnel. Another way to do the same trick is by doing a spin like this and then catching yourself. That way the walls are placed 
kind of nicely and already there for you. I'll show you again in slow motion. It's kind of the C swipe motion again with your joystick and you should be able to get it with practice. More things you can do with the upwards tunnel is you can go to the side with two cones and ramp to the side or you can edit straight through, go to the right, or you can edit the stair above you and flip it. When he was on your left but trying to go to your right you could try to piece him up. Go for a shot if you can or go for high ground. So all you gotta do is you gotta edit the wall place two cones and then go for a little spin and then catch yourself and do a 180 to make sure he doesn't get a shot off of you. Another easy retake is by placing three cones, a floor and a ramp. And you can do this on both sides too depending on which side is opened. You can do a couple things from here. You can either edit through and go forward or you can go to the side and place a cone, a floor and a ramp and then edit through. Here's one out of many routines you can do with this retake. Or you can do this. Now that you know a couple of retakes on the open wall, let's show you a couple of retakes on the edited wall. So to do that, you gotta practice edits while doing the upwards tunnel. Try to practice going left a lot more than right just because it's harder to grab on controller. Practicing these not only is a retake himself because you can just keep spamming it and keep going with it, but it's also good for your side edits for things that you can make into your routines as example here. A tip for retakes if you mess up with the edit or something just go with the flow and try a different route and reset. Here's some routines in slow motion so you can perfect them and practice them and try them out yourself. The only way you're going to be able to perfect anything in this video that you see is just by keep trying it and creative and keep grinding. Uh, even though if you don't get it on the 10th or 100th time, you'll eventually get it. Uh, it took me mad months to get where I'm at today of grinding creative. So you'll eventually get there. You just got to keep grinding and keep going at it. If you need to slow this down anymore, there's an option in YouTube to slow it down to 50 or 25. A tip to help you learn these retakes a lot faster is to turn off sound. The reason for it is when you turn off sound, it helps you focus on your builds and edits a lot better. Uh, I remember when I was first starting out, I used to do this and it helped so much. I even do it till this day and it just helps you focus so you're not worried about the sound of editing more than actually doing the edit. That's it for today's video. Keep grinding the upwards tunnel. Keep perfecting it. Add your own routines and own retakes into the things I've showed you and the upwards tunnel. Practice my routines. Free build. Do some edit courses and keep grinding. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I will be doing more tutorials. Just let me know what you want to see. If you guys haven't already, check out the video I've Killed Cultures. I'll be putting it on the screen now. Uh, check it out. Like comment if you enjoyed it or share the video uh, if you have friends that you want to get better at the game share this video to your friends uh, follow all my social medias tiktok flares underscore hypno twitch flares underscore hypno subscribe with notifications on and have a good day peace Man, you gotta be here to see it. I'm not chasing after you, yeah. And I could either die now or I can live forever. Double C your purses, baby, what's your pleasures? You said you hate me, but we still.